Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is Kasia. Welcome to Tarot Map. Finally, I found some time to show you the Divine Gypsy Mother Oracle set by Balthazar Blacky. I have done an interview with Balthazar, which I think was really interesting, where we talk about this project, we talk about psychic abilities, how to develop those, um, about channeling and magic and all the other interesting stuff. Balthazar also has a very interesting YouTube channel, which I'm going to link below. But um, and this project, Divine Gypsy Mother, uh, was published by Scarlet Imprint and in a strictly limited edition of 525. I'm not, I'm not sure how many are left by now if any. Uh, I know that they were also planning to publish um, just like more, you know, mass produced <laughs> uh, by an independent um, uh, publishing house. And the art in this deck is created by Alexander Danilov, which you may know from some other tarot decks. And um, it comes in uh, like in an amazing quality, which Scarlet Imprint usually and delivers and this is you know the box it's like really cool it has this um, material on it golden foil black velvety insides like it's just cute you know the cuts are small so um, if this is the herbal astrology oracle um, yeah they like poker size and um, and the book that it comes with it is incredible, it's substantial, all right? Like you get a lot of information, a lot of insights about cards themselves, but also um, there's of course colored illustrations for each card, you get a write-up and you get all these like interesting things for divinatory reasons, because this deck is meant for divination, for day-to-day -day questions. Mostly on my channel, you will find me reviewing decks that are for psychological development, for spiritual development. This is meant um, like Lenormand, you know, for just questions of yes and no, of how to, but for mundane questions, also for deep questions if you want to, of course, but it's meant for just day-to-day -day things. So you get keywords, essence, orientation, if it's positive, neutral or negative, emotions, timing, uh, when you, you can ask for time, personality, advice, astrological attributions in the body, uh, lost objects and disease. So it's like really a, like, fun um, fun system to work with and this is how much you get on all the cards uh, you get of course the structure of the deck as well in the book so uh, Balthazar separated it into a couple of different groups so there's virtue, vice, fate, important events, resources and the roles um, and there's a little history mentioned. The preface was, um, I thought it was written by somebody else, but no. All right, so here we have introduction in the book, card meanings, and then this foundational methods. This is really interesting for um, divination geeks, for, uh, you know, astrology geeks. It's really cool. What he did, like it's so much work of putting all of this together. Um, there is some information of astro themes, astro spreads, um, Lenormand spreads, tarot spreads that you can use with this particular little deck. So um, then we also, he goes deeper into the cross spread in Gypsy Grand Tableau and Astrological Tableau. Um, so it's extensive. It's interesting. I, yeah, I haven't really worked with any of the spreads just yet because I'm seriously, I just don't have time to do it. But you can see um, that like he just provided a lot of information. If you're one of those people who loves to, you know, try out different things, if you love Lenormand, if you love other, other uh, like other than tarot divinatory systems, I think you will definitely enjoy this book. It's really interesting. It's something that I'm definitely going to be diving in deeper for everything that lives is holly. And the cards come gilded and they come on rose petal. Uh, 
just this buttery feel but because we don't have that many cards and they small they shuffle really great you know it's this cool feeling they bridge well it's perfection okay so let's just take a look at the at the cards themselves i'm going to change the view of the camera a little bit and adjust it a tiny little bit so you can see the beauty of these cards uh, you can listen to the history of this deck how it came to be uh, how um, Balthazar got um, Alexander Danilov for you know for to do the art and um, what the cards mean um, in like general advice what you can do with the deck and so on during our interview I'm going to link it below it's a really interesting one and I highly recommend you you look at it so as you can see here imagined um, the the cards the gypsy cards basically that's how they were called um, which it was a divinatory system European divinatory system and um, he has called this deck divine gypsy mother and uh, we speak about the use of gypsy word um, with Balthazar so you can take a look um, at the interview again uh, and yeah just take a look and soak in the beauty of the cards so the cards are quite punchy I have to say <laughs> um, I'm a tarot girl and oracle girl I'm not really that great at Lenormand or Gypsy Cards or other divinatory systems, Sibylla and so on. So I'm not a specialist about this system. Uh, basically, I'm at the very, very beginning. And um, I'm just, I'm, I love the spiritual and psycho-spiritual and psychological uh, work that cards can do. I'm less interested in divining uh, for day-to-day -day things like, you know, uh, where should I buy a car and so on like I think it's interesting but just not to me so much <laughs> so um, I think these decks can be used for both the deep questions but also the regular life questions if somebody uses divination for these reasons and um, when I used it a couple of times like you've got to have a bit of a strong like thick skin because these cards are punchy and they give you like divination does like just truthful answers you know and without beating around the bush so it's not so much um like tarot that you get um all these various archetypes here and the the thief is often the thief and the lover is the lover <laughs> and falseness is falseness so it has quite a lot of um, positive and negative you know associations and the cards just speak for what they are and we all know that in life we get both sides of the story so um, you do have to think a little bit uh, archetypal and a little bit beyond the words or image that you see with it but the books uh, the book helps with that and um yeah it gives you a lot of interpretation ideas uh, but um these cards are meant to be read at face value really so it's a little bit like reading um tarot just based on images right so doing like an open reading without any uh, maybe meanings attached to it rather than enemy is the enemy and if it looks like enemy smells like enemy it is enemy right malady would be bad health death maybe wouldn't be necessary death all the time because yeah you often pull death and you would have to die many times but in one way or another maybe it means ending of something um, or preparation for something big to come so yeah this uh, divination system is uh, for me yet to be explored properly and um, I just wanted to share how beautiful this project is and how much work Balthazar has put into it so um, please if you are a fan of other divinatory systems take a look at this because this is really beautiful well made interesting and he's put a lot a lot of information and research into the book so um, I highly uh, highly recommend this and watch our interview so you can get a sense of Balthazar's energy and um, here is how you kind of this is his artistic um, pseudonym Balthazar Blackie he's got also a beautiful 
uh, YouTube channel. So I'm going to attach all the information below. So thanks, Bathazar, for taking time to creating this beautiful um, project and putting it out into the world. Um, I applaud you always and thank you so much for yeah, sending it to me as a gift. I yeah, we we go a long way with Balthazar, so I'm just really happy to see him flourish and become the magician that he always was. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Do you guys have it? Um, what uh, do you use other divinatory systems? Share with us and uh, let's inspire one another. Bye.